Hi everyone, it's Rochelle from Kitsap CrossFit here with another Legends at Home workout. Today you're going to be doing five rounds for time of nine deadlifts, seven hang power cleans, five front squats, and three push jerks. So for now, let's start warming up. We'll do 20 jumping jacks, 10 good mornings, eight groiners, six scorpions, and four nice and slow air squats. So remember, um, part of the workout is going up overhead today. So I want you to really use your arms and warm up with that jumping jack. So hands come up. If you need to step out, that's fine. Um, in addition, um, you might want to do some extra arm circles to warm those arms up. Okay. Then you'll go into 10 good mornings. I've got a broom. Put it on your back, feet under the hips, slight bend in the knees, hinge forward. This is the bottom piece of your deadlift today. 10 of those. You'll go into eight groiners. Nice deep runner's lunge, hands come inside, vertical shin. Step it out and switch. And if I need to elevate that by coming right here and not touching my knee if I don't, if it's not comfortable for me. Then you'll do uh, scorpions, six of those. Coming down, hands in a T to open up the shoulder and a nice trunk rotation. Some of you might be uncomfortable doing those on the ground. So you can pick a wall, <clears throat> place your hand on the wall and simply turn away, opening up that shoulder. Okay, and same thing here, and turning away. After your scorpions, I want you to do four nice and slow air squats. Feet are shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out, send your butt down and back. Hip crease below parallel, keeping that chest nice and upright. Go ahead and use a stool or a bench if you need a target to warm that up. Nice and easy. Do that warm up two or three times through. Make that a part of your workout. Warming up is really important. Let's go on to the workout now. We're gonna warm up these four pieces. The, let's start with the deadlift. Um, for the workout, you're gonna use the same item for all four movements. Um, Maybe you have two jugs that are the same weight and size. I don't, I only have one today, so I just brought that to show you what you can use. If you have dumbbells, that would be one of my first choices as well. Today I've got a couple of cans, so that's what I'm gonna use. So the movement's going to feel light for the deadlift, um, and then it's gonna get a little heavier as you go into the overhead movements. So using the same thing. So for that deadlift, just like the good morning, feet are underneath the hips, nice long arms, they stay long. You're just going to hinge at the waist. These cans are short, so I won't be touching the ground. Just below the knee is fine. Stand to full extension, okay? Just simply squeeze your butt at the top of the movement. There's no need to arch way back, okay? So you'll do nine of those deadlifts. Then we're gonna uh, look at the hang power clean. So now your, the hang position is just anywhere uh, below the knee or up at the knee right in here. So I'm gonna hang and clean it to the shoulders. Okay, you're gonna dip, shrug and pull the cans up to your shoulders, okay? If you're not jumping, remember you can do a muscle clean, just sending the weight up to the shoulders. Then we'll adjust our feet into that squat stance with a nice high elbows for our front squats. Sitting down, stand up. And then we'll move our feet in for that overhead movement. You can test your weight by simply pressing the weight up overhead if it's light, adding a push press, dip and drive, straight up and down. If I picked a heavier weight, maybe I'm using some heavier dumbbells. This is the push jerk. Dip and punch and getting underneath the weight. Even with a light weight, it's good to work the skill 
of the push jerk. All right. So I'm going to show you uh, just three movements of each running it together, showing you what it can look like. So I'm going to do my, I'll do three deadlifts. right into my three hang power cleans, into my front squats, and push jerks. All right, so that's a little demo of what it's going to look like. Um, so remember, your workout is going to be five rounds total. Um, I just showed you the movement in threes, but for the workout, you'll be doing nine full deadlifts. Then you'll go right into seven hang power cleans. The reps are going down by two for five front squats, and you'll finish with three push jerks. You can take a little rest in between each round. You're doing five rounds total. Remember, uh, lifting weights doesn't have to be heavy. This is gonna be a really good cardio workout. Make sure, um, just look at each of those four individual movements and do them good quality reps. Let me know your scores and what you used for equipment. Have a wonderful day.